Watermelon Madness by Tagreed Najar, illustrated by Maya Fidawi. Nora is a little girl who loves to eat watermelon. She eats watermelon in the morning. She eats watermelon in the afternoon. She eats watermelon in the evening. One day, Nora sat down to eat with her family. Mama scooped Molokia with chicken and rice onto Nora's plate. But Nora turned up her nose. I don't like Molokia. I don't like chicken. I only want watermelon. Chicken is good for you, Nora, Baba insisted. And Molokia is yummy. Nora roared. Watermelon, watermelon, I only want watermelon. Watermelon! Mama was angry and said firmly, First, eat your molokia, then you can have watermelon. That evening, Nora snuck into the kitchen and saw a big watermelon sitting on the table. She stood there for a moment and thought, Yum! That is a very big watermelon. I want to eat it all by myself. Nora took the watermelon and rolled it under her bed so that she could eat it after everyone had gone to sleep. She fell asleep thinking about the big watermelon under her bed. In the middle of the night, Nora felt her bed shaking. She opened her eyes and saw the watermelon growing bigger and bigger and bigger. It got so big that her bed almost touched the ceiling. Nora slid down the watermelon. Wee! Wee! I'm so happy! I'm so happy! This whole watermelon is all for me. Nora walked around the watermelon and found a door on its side. She opened the door and went inside the watermelon. She walked down a long hallway until she reached a bright pink room. Inside were a table and chair made out of watermelon seeds. Nora sat at the table. I'm so happy, I'm so happy. This whole watermelon is all for me. Nora ate her first piece of watermelon. Yum! This watermelon is so delicious. I want more. And another piece of watermelon appeared right in front of her. Nora kept eating and eating and eating. She kept saying, I want more. I want more. I want more. The moment she finished a piece of watermelon, another one would appear in its place. Suddenly, Nora stopped eating. She felt herself getting bigger and bigger as the watermelon got smaller and smaller. Nora grabbed her belly and cried, Oh, 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 my tummy hurts. I don't want any more. I don't want any more. Nora opened her eyes and found Mama sitting next to her and patting her. What's wrong, Nora? What's the matter? There was a giant watermelon under my bed and I ate so much of it, I felt like it swallowed me. Mama took the watermelon out from under Nora's bed. Hmm, who put this watermelon under your bed, Nora? Nora felt embarrassed. I did. I'm sorry, Mama. I wanted to eat the whole watermelon all by myself. But I started getting bigger and bigger as the watermelon got smaller and smaller. Mama smiled. Go back to sleep now, Nora. We'll talk about the magic watermelon tomorrow. Nora turned over in her bed and fell asleep right away. The next morning at breakfast, 
Nora ate her fried eggs and za'atar with olive oil and drank all her milk. You want to know some fun facts for watermelon lovers? Well, watermelons originally came from Africa. They are related to cucumbers. The rind and seeds can be eaten. And some varieties have yellow flesh. Don't forget to subscribe for more story time with Miss Veronica.